things are okay in our relationship for now, but I think they can be better and that we can do better. So how can we get it so that we can do better? I think everything is fine. You know, in my opinion, it's, you know, we're great. You know, I don't know what we should change. I think we should just leave it how it is. Wow. That is an interesting uh, situation. And fortunately, this month we are going to be dealing with that. Well, praise the Lord. Welcome to the Holy Rolling Rollins. We are <laughs> back again with some insight and some wisdom uh, just to bless uh, our hearers who may be eager uh, to hear something. You know, sometimes you get in a desperate situation and you just need to hear something. Uh, I've heard of people, you know, they just, you know, running the channels and all of a sudden, you know, the 700 Club is on and the, the, a certain <laughs> word at a certain time, at a certain moment you know, could save somebody's life. And uh, I just believe God works like that, you know. And so this may be the word that uh, helps somebody with their marriage. This is spring. And so spring, our theme uh, is uh, a time to plant. And so it's all about planting and investing in our relationship, planting positive seeds that will reap great harvest, great rewards uh, later on down the road. You know, you got to get it right at the beginning if you expect it to be right at the end. So, uh, yeah. And so, praise God. Uh, I just want y'all to um, take a time, take a little bit of time to share your story on how you've um, uh, navigated those waters. Uh, everybody I've talked to, I've, I've said the same thing. We were all in the same fellowship. You know, mm -hmm. we've had some uh, some benefits that most people don't have. You know, yeah. so uh, I'm going to turn it over to you guys. Okay. Amen. Well, you know, I looked at the topic for this and I had to uh, do a little research just to make sure I'm on the same page, you know, and uh, so this is really good. Uh, talking about springtime and the metaphor of marriages, the cycle of marriages being like the spring and summer and fall and winter of nature. Amen. And I think the biggest thing there, the difference in that is that a marriage doesn't necessarily uh, follow chronologically uh, like nature. Mm -hmm. And so um, most marriages, and I would think that all marriages, when they first start off, they're in that springtime. Mm -hmm. And But the thing is, you can go from springtime to wintertime, or you can go from uh, springtime to fall time. So it's a little different. But the metaphor is good, mm -hmm. um, that it's a time for planning, it's a time for hope and joy and anticipation and and looking forward and uh, to the marriage and the things that you're going to do. Um, April and I, you know, we took a look at that and, and, and where we are and where we used to be. And uh, lo and behold, actually, Tyndall uh, House which the publisher that uh, they do the Bibles. And uh, I saw a, um, I guess you call it four season quiz, by a uh, marriage quiz. And so I won't go through all of that and pretty good, but I think questions always gives us tools that we can use that will start conversations. Amen. And we did, I did it. I did it online and it shows you exactly what comes up, uh, what season you're in. And lo and behold, it came out springtime. Now, 40 years and here we are, springtime. That's a good thing. Yeah. All right. I sent it to her. She was at work mm -hmm. and I guess she was on a break mm -hmm. just in case her boss see, hears this. <laughs> And she sent it back after she had done it, and it said spring. Praise God. Yeah. So, so that's pretty good. And, and how we got there and how we maintain that is, is really good. But I just want to give you um, a couple of questions, maybe two or three of those questions. And one of them said, almost any activity we do together as a couple, even the routine outings seem exciting or at least enjoyable when I am with my spouse. Wow. Now, see, that opens up a great conversation. Yeah. You know? We've been together so long, we just say yes, always. <laughs> you know. But 
some may have to take some time and really be able to discuss that a little bit. Uh, my spouse and, and I each have some of our own interests. I do not resent how my spouse spends his or her time away from me. So those are some, some good starter uh, discussions in wherever they may be to kind of discover we happen to be in the spring season in our marriage. Some may find that they're in winter, they may be in the fall and so on. So I, th I think it was a really, really good uh, thing to do. And uh, again, that was uh, Tyndall, T-Y-N-D-A-L-E, house marriage quiz mm -hmm. and just for those who are out there say hey i want to do that maybe that can start a discussion and we can talk a little bit mm -hmm. so the springtime um and and these um four seasons you know we talk about emotions we talk about attitudes we talk about actions emotions what is my emotion like now in my marriage uh for the last four weeks or for this week, or for last month, or last year, and so on. And out of emotions would come attitudes and actions. Mm -hmm. So all of that kind of flows out of that. And so I kind of reflected back on last year, 2020, and which was a hard time for me. And just in case there may be someone out there who they have a difference of age in their marriage. Uh, I'm 10 years older than April. And at this time in our life, it, it shows for me, she's 61, I will be 71 this year, God willing. Mm -hmm. And when I turned 70, um, a lot of things happen up here in my mind, you know? And so it's in, in it, but let me read a scripture first before it will help explain that just a little more. And it's Ecclesiastes um, chapter four, uh, verse nine and 10. And uh, it's really 9a and verse 10. And it says, two are better than one. If one falls down, his friend can help him up. But pity the man who falls down and has no one to pick him up. Wow. And, and so that is so awesome there. Um, it's almost like the thing we say, okay, we're going to go to the gym. It's best to have someone with you so that when one says, I don't think I'm going to do that today, you know, and what, another one is picking that one up so that you can meet your goal. And in this particular way, uh, just to kind of explain it a little further, uh, it's kind of going through some things, 70 years old, ministry goals in jeopardy. Lord, this is late in my life. I don't know if I'm going to get there, you know? So you you do the reality check, you know, it's kind of those natural things. Um, lost a, a great friend, um, went home to be with the Lord. Then the pandemic and all of that stuff. So kind of a lot of stuff going on and I'm thinking, and but here she is to pick me up amen if she's there to encourage me she knows you know if i'm sitting there what's on your mind yeah. you know um what's bothering you what's going on and i have that liberty to be in freedom to be able to share with her because i trust her and that is so important to, to know that this the sacred information that I share with her, that she's not going to share with anyone else. And she's the one who understands that. And out of that, I was losing hope, man. I was losing hope. You know, it's like I was being stripped of so many things that I had looked forward to. Mm -hmm. And that's partially, I know that the Lord helps us to look at him and say, I'm your hope. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And 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 so as much as I hope in our future and the things that we have, as much as much as I have hope in ministry, uh desires and longings, as much as I have hope in my grandkids, but he is my ultimate hope. Yeah. So he helped me work through that. So it was still a summertime, but someone said it this way, poison ivy came out. <laughs> 
it, you know i mean you you got these irritations in in springtime that actually come out oh we were supposed to go to alaska and we had to cancel our trip mm. and we were looking forward to that you know we we're really looking forward to that then dealing with the people they don't want to give you a deposit back and you know wow. and, uh, so so those irritations came up but there again here we are supporting one another her especially um supporting me um to help me navigate and to keep the optimism up that our marriage of our marriage uh how we come to one another and how we help each other and so on so i don't know if you had anything um uh, to, I, to add to that i did i was thinking about um the springtime you know even with what mike was going through or even in a marriage if one person is going through something and then the other one jumps on that same band, bandwagon so to speak you know is nobody having anybody and that where it comes uh, i guess it goes back to our emotions mm -hmm. our emotions affects our attitudes and so um and one thing you know with that if one like you know the scripture said if one falls down the other one's there to pick them up so somebody you know has to um be alert in the marriage um you know i've seen people you know maybe the spouses in a mood or an attitude because of what's going on in other spots well, i'm gonna get an attitude too you know because <laughs> you know the communication breakdown but in the spring of life i guess what we are um we we've been through a lot of that stuff and we know how to we see the signals mm -hmm. we know how to um make sure our attitude is right not to catch an attitude because the other person has an attitude or the other person is going through something but to build each other up and that's where that um, nurturing and and the communication and things like that come in and that's you know sort of that springtime in life you you just know these things and like um mike mentioned about the poison ivy that comes up what do you do with it you you get it up you pull it out you do what you got you have to do to pull it out and that sometimes take that working yeah gloves <laughs> but you prepare okay let's use the gloves like you prepare yourself through the word through prayer you know to work in that relationship you know in the springtime and you also get to the point where you know it's just a season okay he's not gonna be that way all the time she's not gonna be that way all the time but somebody has to take the stance and understand that and be there you know mm -hmm. and so that's that kind of springtime thing you know you see things going on you root it out you do what you have to do to get it out of the way you take care you got like poison have you have to spray something on it to kill it you do what you got to do you got to put some prayer on him that's what we have to do you know so amen, <laughs> amen. Oh, that is so powerful man mm -hmm. that is really profound when you think about um springtime uh before you plan anything uh you got to prepare the soil yes you got to prepare the ground and even the lord in this parable he talks about planting the seed in good ground mm -hmm. you know? and how some seeds they fall by the wayside some seeds they get tangled up in the weeds and mm -hmm. uh, when they start to grow um but it's almost like um the more mature you are in your relationship you are um, more readily and easily easy to recognize the condition of the soil mm -hmm. you know and yeah. you know what to do um for that soil whether it's clearing stuff away whether it's sowing encouragement or affirmation whether it's just reassurance um, mm -hmm. whether it's just um a, a feeling of of of, of a love you know and commitment you know mm -hmm. security like i got you you know right. i'm in your corner i support you yeah. um and so that's that's powerful um mm -hmm. for our younger viewers they have to learn how to do that mm -hmm. you know you've got to learn how to do that over over four decades y'all learn how to do that you know uh but it's it's a little bit at a time it's one step at a time and it's being tentative you know attentive uh, to each other paying attention listening um to one another uh getting to learn uh those um uh, integral details about each other you know if this is going to be your life partner uh you should be uh the well of information mm -hmm. on your spouse you know um i said something in one of the other broadcasts that uh, other than the bible 
Uh, your spouse is your greatest mirror, your greatest reflection. They know everything there is to know about you. The longer they stay with you, the more they know. You know, <laughs> and to the point where there's there's no secrets left. You know, right. there's nothing hidden. You're totally vulnerable. Maybe uh, a little bit. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Now what? I'm talking about I'm talking about deep stuff. You know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about shipwreck stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's nothing that would uh, just destroy the to destroy the cruise. <laughs> destroy, right. the, destroy the cruise. Yeah, that's true, man. Yeah. yeah. And so uh, and yeah, and so I think I think they have to to grow in that. They have to learn yeah. that. And if they're not, um, one couple was talking about setting goals. Mm -hmm. and objectives and uh, being proactive in setting these things in place and mm -hmm. not just hope they happen and you know like your marriage is on cruise control and you know mm -hmm. these seasons come these seasons go and we just have to survive and eat whatever season we get you know uh, without realizing that uh, the word of god prepares us for everything yes it does yeah it really does yeah. Uh, and there are so many other resources that prepares us as well. You know, mm -hmm. iron shop and iron couple, married couples um, joining together in fellowships, workshops, retreats. I mean, there's so many things, books, vacations. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's just a host of different tools that you mm -hmm. can use to continue to cultivate and mm -hmm. to nurture your relationship, uh, especially in springtime. Yes, right. mm -hmm. yes, yeah. No, I'm well, saying with you. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to touch with them. <laughs> I feel a little, a little funny that you know how when you're tired, you're so, you're so tired that you're just laughing about everything. <laughs> yes. I feel you. <laughs> okay. But I love all of this. I, I was telling uh, another couple before, I said, you know what? I get a lot out of this. I know we're, we're sharing to encourage others, but mm -hmm. I, I get ministered too when I hear yeah, yeah. Definitely. Uh, just share. So. Amen. 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 Yeah. And I was, uh, uh, I, just a, uh, an opportunity to, to affirm my wife, and others will see that she, she is the. Uh, I grow. I, I have seen her grow. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just wonderful. Way back, she was 20 years old. I robbed the cradle. <laughs> I was 30. Almost 30. Yeah. I'm telling you, a week. <laughs> I think that was a week. <laughs> 30, <I'm here>. okay. <laughs> but um, she is the most remarkable woman that I have ever met. And in in all the phases and all of the intricacies about... <laughs> okay. <laughs> all the intricacies, all of the things that go on and I think the only way that she will really know how wonderful she is if she saw someone like her. <laughs> wow. You, you know, I mean, she just doesn't get it. And and I recognize that that is humility. And, uh, but um, she has um, done some wonderful things in, in our marriage. And I'm sure she would say the same thing. Oh, yeah. She's chomping at a bit. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure she would say the same thing. <clears throat> but there were some difficult times uh, in that, but we know each other so well. I think that's the main thing. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what happens over time. Mm. Yeah, we, we, we've, um, I, I, I know in our marriage, we've been through all the seasons. <laughs> <laughs> After spring, um, because like I say, it's a, it's a point now where we are, where we know each other, you know, we know, we can almost, think what each other's getting ready to say, you know, it's that kind of um, growth that has come. We've learned to read, like I say, to read each other, to understand each other. And um, things that would have made us, let's say, upset, let's say maybe back in summer or sometime, it doesn't upset us now. You know, we've learned to um, understand, just truly to understand each other and to, you know, trust God in our relationship. You know, as we grow, we're still trusting God, you know, in our relationship when we encounter uh, situations or weeds that need to be pulled out of, you know, the relationship. We still, you know, we go to God, we go to each other and we just, you know, we talk to each other, we discuss. Um, and, and I think that builds the confidence in your marriage when you know that you can talk to one another, when you know, um, 
you know, I, I don't know, I guess appreciate one another, you know, you're grateful for one another. And instead of um, looking at the negative things all the time, look at the positive span, you know, on the relationship. This is a lot of positives, yeah. a lot of good things in those marriages if we would but look for them, you know. And, and we pray with each other. Yeah. And I think that is, yeah. and I've mentioned that before, um, so many um, husbands and wives, they pray for one and pray for one another. But to pray with mm -hmm. one another mm -hmm. um, is just so awesome. Mm -hmm. um, the things that the Holy Spirit will bring up and express mm -hmm. it in the right way that will touch each, each other's hearts is mm -hmm. just one. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, I love the um, one thing you said that really is sticking with me uh, is about poison ivy. Mm -hmm. uh, because you don't plant that. Nope. <laughs> you know, that's not intentional. That's not uh, something that you plan uh, mm -hmm. to do. Right. But it crops up mm -hmm. in the most peculiar places. And mm -hmm. the interesting thing is both of you recognize it when you see it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And so if these, these, these toxic or poisonous uh, things or things that can cause um, terrible rashes, uh, irritation in your relationship uh, you have to be able to recognize it number one and then you have to be brave yeah mm -hmm. yeah you got to be brave you know because somebody's gotta gotta get rid of it right if, if both of you rarely is both of you getting rid of it at mm -hmm. the same time usually it's just one stepping up to go ahead and kill that poison ivy and get <laughs> it out of there you know so does it so it doesn't come back you know, yeah. and so even in a relationship, um, we have to be able to be vulnerable with each other, mm -hmm. transparent with one another, and be willing uh, to say, "Okay, that's that's poison ivy, that's yeah. toxic to our relationship, mm -hmm. that's going to cause problems." Um, so let's together, you know, let's seek the Lord uh, and let's work together uh, to get this out of our relationship. Uh, mm -hmm. I love that that analogy. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's quite different than uh, what some of the other folks are saying, which is really cool, uh, mm -hmm. because that gives a different perspective. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. Even even the seeds is not coming in <laughs> order. I mm -hmm. love that because you get two winners. Right, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do then? You know, you yeah. hope for <laughs> you hope yeah. for spring. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 it ain't come yet. You know, it's yeah. like a long winter. You know. And yeah. what you do in the winter, you know, and uh, but you know the Lord uh, helps us, and we're faithful. Uh, the Lord helps us prepare uh, for the winter, and a winter right. can actually turn into a good thing. Yes, yes. it can. Yes, yeah. it can grow you up. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it'll yeah. grow you up. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you want the family to keep each other warm because ain't too it's much good. else out there keeping you warm. <laughs> 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 yeah, but he put the thoughts in. Like uh, you know, what, Abel, when you mentioned the part of about things that used to bother you maybe 10, mm -hmm. 20 years ago, those don't bother you anymore. Mm -hmm. you know, that's so funny because I was thinking about that myself, you know, uh, even, uh, and, and then that shows maturity. It just shows the growth uh, in mm -hmm. your marriage and it just uh, shows how you, you, you work together. So uh, mm -hmm. that just uh, really uh, blessed me when you, when you spoke, you know, about that. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes you have to look at those things and, and you know, if you think about it, a lot of times it's not really that big of an issue, you know, uh, yeah. you know, when you think about it, when yeah. you get out of uh, your emotions and, and attitudes, you know, when you really uh, put things in check, you'll see that that really was not such a big issue after all. And that's what keeps you growing and strengthening, and strengthening your relationship. Yeah, and then you kind of wonder, like, dang, why was I so upset about that so many yeah. years ago? What yeah. was it? And again, like you said, your emotions was in it. You know, yeah. like, that's not a big thing. You know, a, oh, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. You know, a lot of times, um, I've heard this said too by one of the couples that if we go to God first mm -hmm. you know, and put it before Him, mm -hmm. uh, He will turn something that's um, micro into macro. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, he'll turn that dag on um, the magnifying glass around, mm -hmm. and instead of you being all up on it where you can't see the forest for the trees, you get the big picture. Yeah. 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 And you'd yeah. be like, I ain't going to even, I'm not going to even address that. 
Yeah, I'm not yeah. even gonna, you know, that's like just an argument waiting to happen mm -hmm. and, and to no benefit. You know, <laughs> nobody's gonna get any fruit out of that at all. You know, it's just gonna be an argument, you know, which right. is just allowing weeds to grow. And uh, so, yeah, that's that's great. That's powerful. You have any parting comments? Well, I was gonna say just off of your conversation, you just um, said sometimes too when God turns that magnifying glass around. Oh my God! You yes. it yourself. Yes. Part, you played in the issue. Yeah. And but sometimes you know he he speaks to you and where you need to change and yeah. how you change the way you reacted or or whatever you know how you um, uh, responded. And somebody once said sometimes we react when we need to just respond. You know. And um, so sometimes when God turns that magnifying glass around, He makes you see yourself. It's true. It's true. And it gives you that 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 what Jesus was talking about—the beam and the moat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. you yeah. can't see. You know, you try to get that little speck, that little moat out there. You know, when you got a huge beam in your own eye, and it's like you need to check yourself. Right. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's a good practice. Mm -hmm. you know, it is. Always check ourselves and mm -hmm. check yourself before God. Because yeah. you might check yourself and say, I'm all right. Yeah. It ain't wrong with me. It ain't me. It's him. It's her. <laughs> you know, um, um, you took the words out of my mouth when you were talking about big picture. Mm -hmm. I'm a big picture guy, you know, mm -hmm. and can't see the forest for the trees. Mm -hmm. And so many times we're down in the weeds. And just to get up in that 32,000 foot level, yeah. and you will see how small it is you know yes. and uh, i think that that is so important mm -hmm. to kind of draw back look at the big picture paint that picture and it's not as bad as what it seems mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yeah. that'll help somebody get through something mm -hmm. yeah yeah, yeah. I believe that. well this mm -hmm. has been rich this has been wonderful it always is uh, i always feel the presence of the lord when we come together i do know that uh, two or more gathered in his name something happened Somebody show up, things start jumping, lives yeah. change, you know, all kinds of stuff. Uh, so I thank y'all for your faithfulness to this. I think that uh, it's reaping rewards that we won't see until we get to heaven. Exactly. Amen. <laughs> so I thank God for that. And uh, the other side of it is you leaving a legacy uh, for your kids. Yes. yes. Long yeah. after we go, man, if I had something like this from my mom and dad, oh. man, yeah. you know, yeah that I could just go to and, and check it out. I mean, this is just awesome. Mm -hmm. It is. It's good. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. God, God, I'm glad God placed this on y'all's heart to do because it, it is a much needed tool. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right. Well, we just praise God for y'all and we thank y'all. And man, I'm excited about next month already, man. <laughs> I know this, this is going to all be about the fun, the money, money being funny and oh, yeah, finances. Yeah. And, right, you know, right. what's going on with that? You know, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. going to be hot. That's going to give people uh, uh, something excited uh, to anticipate mm -hmm. and look forward to. So, uh, yeah, thank you all once again uh, for uh, being here with us. Now, you know, that was awesome. There's so much wisdom. Uh, that was uh, sewn in that. And I would say to anyone who is listening to the stream, uh, remember the acronym DWTW. DWTW. Don't waste the wisdom, you know, that uh, has been um, won through many years of, of challenges and struggles. And the journey was long and hard for many of us, uh, but God has brought us to this special place. Uh, where we can look back and we can just reflect and just share the testimonies that the Lord has given us. So uh, take time and go over these reflection questions. You know, read through them, put together a, a small group of couples, uh, like-minded couples who want to grow in their relationship. This is ATM, y'all. No deposit, no return. You don't put nothing in, you really can't expect nothing to get nothing out of it. So look forward to the next broadcast. As you can see, we uh, stream on Tuesdays at 12 and Thursdays at 6 p.m. So God bless y'all. God keep y'all and can't wait to the next stream.